Hi, Jake here from Pole Fishing Magazine. I just want you to run you through my expander pellet choices and how I go about preparing my expanders. So these are the two, so the go-to range of expanders from Spotted Fin. Reason I chose these, basically, generally, they are very uniform in size and I know how to prepare them and they turn out the same every single time. So I've had these bags a while now, they last ages and they're in these handy resealable packets. So basically, you just take a handful out and that's all you'll need and you can just seal that back up next time you go so you're not wasting anything right two different ways the four mils i prepare at home in the fridge in a bag and i just tightly pack that down right in so that basically i fill it with water and um, just covering the pellet and then tie the knot so it's as tight as it can to the pellets that just means that they don't over swell and start splitting so as you can see there they've expanded brilliantly inside the bag but they've not expanded too much. I've picked a four mil pellet for a reason, or four and a half mil as they're stated on the bag. I don't want them swelling up any more than that. If I'm fishing for F1s, if I'm fishing for smaller carp, a four mil pellet is what I want, and that's how I go about preparing them. Just, just enough water to cover the pellets, tighten it up so that the knot's right down to them pellets, and throw it in the fridge over the night, overnight. When you get it the next day, they're beautiful and they're prepared, they're not split, and they're perfect for hooking. Obviously, I've not prepared them in a pellet pump, so they do float. Basically, when I get on the bank, I've got two choices. I can either just hook them direct and let the hook neutrally balance the pellet, so it will sink with the weight of the hook. Or, if needs be, I'll just give them a quick squeeze in the water. That'll then make the pellet sink, and then I can just pick them out and hook them like that. As you can see, they're a really nice spongy expander, golden in colour. They don't split, so you can squeeze them as much as you want and they're not splitting. Next up is the 6mm version. With the 6mm, these do need pumping. The reason for that is you'd need a massive hook to make them sink. Um, so with that, I basically just take a handful of pellets, whatever your preferred pellet pump, just, to just enough for the day, so just a handful. As you do, pour the water in. Try not to pour it all over yourself. And really, you want to do as minimal pumps as you can. The reason for that is more pumps, the more likely them pellets are to split in. So just, just enough to make them sink. So that's two, three, that fourth one should just make them sink and then just empty them straight into a tub and I'll leave them on my side tray just to absorb that water. So with a six mil expander, you, you really, you're picking that size of expander because you want a big visible hook bait for carp, bigger fish. So that's how I prepare my two types of expanders. Four mils can float because the weight of the hook will sink them. Six mils, I need to pump because I want them to sink, otherwise I'll have to fish too big a hook or a heavy gauge of hook to actually get that pellet to sink.